Greetings, Commander, and welcome to the Breach. I have another Sherman Jumbo replay for you today, this time showing the capability of the M4 to work as a heavy tank. This will only really work if you're top tier and you don't actually go face to face with the enemy's KV-1s etc. There are a number of tanks at this level you have to look out for. The Cromwell B, obviously with its great manoeuvrability, can get round your sides really quickly. And the T-34 85M is likely just to start shooting gold ammunition at you to go through your hull. My setup is exactly the same, it's gun rammer, vents and binos. Well, I've reached the initial spot that I want to start off from. This wall provides cover for my flanks. My tank is tall enough to reach over the wall and allows me to shoot at the opposition as and when they appear. So we just have to wait a few moments for our first catch of the day. The first kill, not very glorious, but I was fairly certain that the guy would pop out once again and try and have a, another shot at people. So I just held my fire and waited for him and didn't move. Looking at the map, I believe it's time to start rolling forward to put the pressure onto the enemy now. Well, the RKV-65 Alt-2 could make a mess of me, except he can't shoot at me through that wall. Unfortunately, I can see the top of his turret, and with a HE round, he's not long for this world. With hindsight, I should have been more aggressive here, but there was a KV-2 that I was facing directly, a tank destroyer, and there was also a medium and another tank destroyer that I wasn't entirely sure where they were at the present time, so I was playing a bit cautious. The splash of artillery showed that I made the right decision really because he was pre-aimed at that corner. This KV-1 is going to be a thorn, he's in the perfect position to counter me, he's got most of his hull covered, he's only got the turret really available for me to shoot. It's at medium to long distance so I'm not all that accurate, he's just going to take a long time to whittle down his health due to the fact that how heavily armoured his turret is. Thank you. 
Well, I'm glad that's over. That was death by a thousand cuts for that poor KV-1 driver. Unfortunately, side scraping doesn't work against this beast very well. Blow his tracks off and then finish him off. Mastery, Radley Walters, top of the table. Pleased with that. Well, that was a nice game to a palate cleanse, so to speak, as I continue to grind up through the light French tanks. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.